like to be organized. So I've been thinking for many years what to do under the sink. I wanted to have slide out baskets so that I didn't have to get on my hands and knees and dig in the back under the sink for things. And I wanted to be able to get to things very easily. Well, I got some baskets from Bed Bath & Beyond. So let's get started. I'm kind of embarrassed to show you guys this, but I'm sure that there are a lot of you out there who have the same issue. As you can see, I have cleaning products in here and I have things that shouldn't even be in here. I've got engine cleaner. That should be in the basement. As well as spray paint. And all kinds of other things. Yeah, it's a disaster. So first thing I have to do is take everything out and clean it all up. The kit provides a template for me to position these runners correctly in the cabinet. Okay, on this side I have to be careful of the pipes here so I can't go too far back. The paint has dried and so we've got a nice new fresh coating of paint on here. I'll put a mark here, and one here, one here, and one here. I'm going to make some starter holes for the screws with the drill. Okay, these are the runners, and I'm going to position them where we have the holes. There is a hole here for that screw and one here. If you need to know which side it has, there's a stopper on one side and it pulls all the way out. So the stopper would be the one in the back. Well, I've got the tracks in and right now the baskets are just resting on them. I haven't clipped them in because I have some more things I want to do in here. One of the things I would like to do is to take advantage of this empty space that's above the basket. My idea was to put a wire rack up there. Um, I've got this piece and I can trim off and put in there. 
um, just trying to figure out see these back pipes have gotten in the way but I need them <laughs> and I don't want to create a situation where the plumbers can't get to them either in case of repair so I wanted to have this wire shelf in the back here so I'd have to trim it up about eight inches or so I have hooks that can go into the side in the back to support it but nothing from here so my thoughts are maybe to build just a wooden post that I can uh, put on there I know I can get some square metal posts with the holes in it already made for these wire shelving units but they're ten dollars for eight feet of it and I only need one foot so I really don't want to go that route got the brackets in the back and the side and this is just resting on there right now the next thing I'm going to do is cut a piece of wood that will be a support right there well, I, fir I first drilled the hole and then cut to the side so now it just stands there it's got a nice rest and it sits right in there so I'm going to paint it and then anchor it into the floor well I've got one basket in in the shelf the piece of wood I have as a brace is all painted and dried and I'm ready to secure that all right I'm going to put these little um, braces here on two sides of the piece of wood so I want to make sure that this is all straight okay, I mark the spot on the piece of wood where the brace goes and I'm going to drill little holes there first so the screws are easier to go in I can lift that up if I need to get to the lower pipes. I can also remove it if I need to um, get up there, but I could strap this to the top pipe so it doesn't fall down. And it's secure. Shelf is there. And the basket slides out nicely. Time to put in the other one. And then you just place the basket in these 
little clips and you push down on it. And there it is, secure, ready to go. Now I'm ready to load things up. Woo! And I have them measured out so that my side side racks don't interfere. And there we go. All closed up. All organized. I can find what I need. Well, the project is done. And uh, I'm happy with how it turned out. I've been waiting a long time to be able to do this. And you know what? Having this channel actually inspired me to get it done. So thank you guys for uh, coming along on this journey with me and, and helping me out. If you liked what I did and you like my channel, please like it, subscribe, and hit that bell so that you get notifications of when I have another video up. Thank you so much and we will see you next time. Continue to hope in the Lord.